Welcome to BuildBox 3. In this video, we're going to go over one of the tools that you can find in the toolbar up above the scene editor when you're in a 3D world. In this video, we're going to take a close look at the multi-tool. The multi-tool may be one of my favorite features in all of BuildBox, and it's because there's so many features built into this one tool. You simply select an object in your scene, and as long as you have the multi-tool selected up here in your toolbar, you should have the multi-tool pop up here in your scene as well. The first thing I'd like to show you is its unique scaling ability. Now, in some situations, you do not want to scale out equally on both sides. In some cases, you do. But in this case, you can use the multi-tool to just pull one side out, and you can size things just how you want and get the scene looking just how you like. And it's a really, really nice feature. And it has two very handy position change tools. First, it has this one tool over here on the left, and you're able to slide objects forward and backward depending on how your camera angle is set. Also, you can just grab the object anywhere you see, and you can just do a freeform movement and drag it how you like. I'll go ahead and do Control Z and bring it back how it was before. You can also grab the corner nodes and scale things in this way as well, and just get a really nicely fine-tuned position and scale. And you can use these side nodes here to rotate the object around the Z axis, the X axis, and the Y axis. And it's just a really, really handy feature. And if you're ever wanting to do rapid developing, it's really nice to be able to just grab these tools and make quick adjustments and quick movements. And finally, last but not least, if you rotate your camera around, this is probably the coolest part of this tool. I've shown you all the features of the tool. But lastly, if you rotate your camera around and change the angle that you're looking at the multi-tool, the multi-tool repositions. And now you can do all those same adjustments that I just mentioned, but you can do them in a different way. Now, when I slide, it slides up and down instead of forward and back. And it's just one of those tools that when you find yourself doing a lot of developing, you end up using this tool a heck of a lot. So I hope you really enjoy this tool and I hope you use it a lot. It's one of my favorite tools for sure in the software and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial keep an eye out for more tutorials at buildbox.com